Well, greetings, guys. Thanks for tuning on in. It's uh, episode number 16. I'm Imperial Jedi, and my goodness, 16 episodes in, and we've got quite a city to uh, show for it. So, pat on the back, guys. Job well done. Appreciate all the uh, suggestions and all the, you know, kind comments and everything, all the support up until now. Appreciate that, guys. Really, honestly, it means a lot to me. And uh, honestly, some of you are just so pleasant when you comment, too. I really I look forward to when you do, you know? Um, okay, so for this episode, my plan um, was to actually do something kind of cool. I wanted to bring a train line in through here and um, maybe bring this one down kind of and like, you know, link it all um, link it all together. And then what I also really want to do um, is finally move this stuff out of the way. I feel like we've been talking about doing that since like the dawn of time. So let's maybe try some terraforming or something over here. We can maybe make ourselves like a little planned kind of area. And then eventually that's where the um, nuclear power plant's going to be and then our shipping and like a few other things like that. Okay, a lot to do, so let's just jump into it. And then also, I'd like to put just a little bit of residential development in around here. So our population, it's not really the highest, and we've got quite a quite a demand right now, so. Um, okay. Well, let's first link, I think, like, these together, right? That would make kind of sense. Um, I think we have to destroy these. I'm just going to pause it, because that's going to cause some, um, some problems. But um, we're going to switch over to our water treatment plant. And unfortunately, these things, they still pollute as well. So it's not really like a picture-perfect kind of moment here. But what we can do is just maybe hide these. Just kind of off in the um, off in the distance. Move that over there. Give these guys their own power source. And that way we won't really notice the pollution as much. So we'll just let that kind of work. And a little bit more room to work with in general. So we're going to link these guys up. Cool. I'm going to pause now because we just unfortunately lost our power connection. Uh, let me just come from the other way. And then we'll bring, I think, these down just kind of following their already path. That can just go like that. I don't say that's really the straightest, but... Maybe we can try this again. Let's move this police station. Oh goodness, nothing's ever easy, is it? Not as much of a curve. Okay, that's those two connected. We'll bring this down now. All right, nifty. And I think the train station probably should be, I guess, on one of these main roads, or we could do a little side street, but there's not really a lot of room for that, though, is there? Hmm. What if we had the tram come up, go across like that? Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. And just go across. Could do that. Actually, we could even do something like this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually not opposed to that. It's kind of an interesting way to go about things. I have like the uh, train station, say, like right down here. That will work. Like if we curve that, if there's, like, there's enough room. Oh yeah, just barely. Cool. Uh, that's not really what we're after right there, though, unfortunately. Let's look at this um, little side profile here. Yeah.
And then I'd like to follow like that. So if these can connect, that would be that would be nice. Hmm. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. And now my thoughts are um, I'm not gonna have um, a bypass for these stations because this is gonna be like a station only route. So I don't really think if you're a train, you'd be kind of cutting through here as a shortcut anyway. Whereas like, you know, on this, um, I don't think we have one just yet. I'm trying to think. Yeah, like whereas over here, right? We see we have the bypass and the option to kind of go around the station. I don't think we're, we're gonna do that over here. We are gonna make sure there's enough room though in between here and where it connects, just so that if it's a train waiting to go into the station, then we have like, you know, enough enough clearance in that sense. And it'd be kind of cool to maybe connect on both sides, but I don't think that's going to be possible. I, don't, I think it's going to be like an only internal kind of interesting kind of shapely loop or whatever. Yeah, something like this. Just go like that. Because the other option would be to have like a back entrance kind of come in. And that would be kind of... No, actually, I don't know. That's not impossible, is it? Something like that. Hmm. That might end up creating absolute like chaos, though. So maybe we can... Oh, I don't know. I'm just so curious, right? Well, especially since we can go right there. Okay. Curiosity is getting the better of me. Right, that. Let's bring this down to ground level. Or like almost ground level. Okay, this can for sure be cleaned up. Hmm. Almost the right curve. No, not uh, not quite. Just bring that down a little bit. There we go. Yep, that's exactly what I'm after. I think. Um, actually, no. I want that to be darn it, just a little bit taller, right? Eh? Hmm. What happens if we just connect these two? Um. I don't see why not. That works for me. That's like... Oh, no, it's too... Darn it, yeah, it's too sharp. That, that actually doesn't work. Should have noticed that right away. Darn it. That would have been kind of interesting. What if we got... Hmm. It's got to be from there. Because the only thing is, our connection, it's got to be right at the source. Otherwise, the... Um, like the trains are not going to be happy with one another. Maybe we try that, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. No, it's still too sharp, darn it. You can see that the rails, they don't um, complete themselves. Dead space there. I don't want to say I figured as much, but I kind of figured as much. Alright, this was wishful thinking, but I guess we're only going to have an entrance from the um, the one side. Even though that did seem sort of promising. Um, okay, so uh, let's just make our way through here. Okay, let's just start right there. Let's go across. I, I reckon that'll continue. Or these can link up like this, and then that can be like an interchange, or... I don't know something down the uh, down the road, but um, for the moment, let's just see how we're gonna connect these. I think actually, you know what we're gonna do is just curve um, curve these together. Not really the cleanest. So let's try that one more time. I wonder if we go like that. That's a bit nicer. My only fear 
you can kind of see how the um, pillars are a little bit offset. Sometimes when the trains go over top of this, uh, they'll seem like they're not really on the tracks. So if that's the case, I'm going to end up moving these, but we'll just do that for the moment. And it would be nice to have a station in and around here as well. And my goodness, we got a lot of traffic going through here. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but just got to be aware of that. Now, I wonder if we... What can we do here to help? If we move this intersection, or just like remove it altogether. Hmm. Just because the timing of the light would make things a little bit faster, right, for the six lane road. But at the same time, a lot of people are kind of coming up this way, so. Um, okay, I don't want to get sidetracked by that. We'll just be, you know, aware of that in the back of our mind type thing. And we'll see what kind of impact, you know, this train route has anyway. But yeah, it would be nice to have, you know, like another train station down here. Maybe we can do like a little, um, yeah, maybe we can actually have a loft shoot or something. Or let's see if there's room. I mean, not really. Because we're close enough to our... Hmm. I'm going to have to ponder on that. I think really uh, the best spot would be up here for another station. Because I think there might be a little bit too much um, road infrastructure kind of going on down uh, in this neck of the woods. I'm not saying it's impossible. I don't know, you guys, just give me, uh, maybe give me your thoughts on this. Because you know me, I'm not opposed to, um, to, like, tearing up neighborhoods and, like, redoing them and like, that kind of stuff. So, if needs be, we can always change a few of the, um, the roads through here. Alright, so let's go like this. And then just to link these up, I think we're going to follow, um, follow the straight line of this one, probably. Just making some... A little bit simpler. That'll be kind of cool, this little coastal um, waterfront route. And I don't think we're going to get lucky with that. We're going to have to go... I wonder why that's giving us problems. There we go. Let's instead now go like this. And we'll have these link up. And are you kidding me? This doesn't want to line up now? We're just having not really the best of luck with this, are we? Get rid of that. And go like this. I really would like that to be in a straighter shots and uh, it's so much so that I would even be willing to downgrade this road so it's a little bit um, more narrow let's try that actually before anything else gets too too drastic yeah it looks like we can fit right through so that's good and then we'll just go like, curve with these two um, hopefully. There we go. And it looks like these, um, slopes are a little bit of different, uh, different height, but that's fine. I think we actually have a slight uphill here anyway, so we'll keep this as it is. And I'm so excited to see trains go through here. This will be really, really cool. Especially like high density buildings and stuff kind of all throughout. Oh, and look, trains are going already. Can we um, see what they look like over here? Oh, good, they stay glued to the tracks. Excellent news. Um, okay, so let's pick another spot for a train station. Let's do it right here. Let's just do it. So for those of you who did suggest something, hopefully this was up um, in and around where you guys were thinking. Okay, so for us to get there, we need the road to be on this stretch. Oh, there should work. Fingers crossed. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. It's actually not too steep either. This side uh, worries me a little bit. So I think what we're going to end up doing over here is bridging that partially. And then we're going to clear a little bit of a valley or something for, for this to kind of come through. Get rid of these buildings. And I guess after all that, we're just going to clear that out of the way and redo it and bring it to ground level. Our little experiment is over. Just do that. And I, that seems a little bit weird just to go uphill a little bit, then just to go downhill. So let's start our slope right over here instead. Yeah, that seems, that seems more logical. And then just, I mean, something like that even. Oh, <laughs> come on. There we go. Let's do that. All right. Um, these were bike lanes. Let's bring this back in. And that looks pretty nice. Pretty doable if you're on a bicycle. Should be enough clearance for the uh, trains to come in. Actually, I quite like that. And now, I, here's the million dollar question, or the $64,000 question, I should say. Let's kick it old school. Um, do we have a bypass line going next to this or not? Well, the fact that we can fit one in. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So let's make this um, look kind of nice. So let's just put that right there just to get uh, zoning square. Let's go like this just so we can get that in place. That looks cleaner. Yeah, even if no one uses it, it should still look pretty cool. And we want that to have enough room so that, you know, two trains can kind of hang out without having to worry about getting in each other's way or anything. So ideally, yeah, just like that. I mean, a little bit cleaner would be nicer. I'd even take that. I think that's enough room. Eh, no, it's not. Okay, let me let me try this one more time. I'm feeling determined here. That's beautiful. Good job. All right, doing that. And then we'll bring this up. Oh, apparently not uh, not tall enough there. That's all right. And yeah, a little bit further. It's a shame we do lose a few building squares. I'm actually going to take these ones out too. But I think that's kind of, I think that's cool. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That looks absolutely awesome. So listen to all these buildings getting an upgrade since we're getting, um, you know, public transit in here. And then, as suspected, um, a little bit of an uh, improvement to traffic right here. Already some people are switching their, their routes. Cool. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, okay, so let's do some quick zoning over here, and then we can start um, moving our um, water facilities. Okay, so let's just fill in some of these roads, and this should just be more or less just kind of connecting some of the dots together. And that's fine like that. There's a bike lane going through. Maybe one of these could be a bike lane, just to get some people connected to it. Just do that, even. Okay. Bring that down. Um, just to get rid of that traffic light, actually. Let's make that a one-way road, just going inward. Okay. So let's get rid of the houses here. Replace those with condo towers, and just 
because of how noisy it's going to be, all the trams and the trains and everything, I'm going to make this part like shopping, like our little commercial district, which is awesome. And then we probably are going to have to buy this tile and expand a little bit outwards. So we'll just leave, you know, leave this for the moment. But I can see this becoming like office space or, or something eventually. And then just to admire this lovely view, let's have some houses here. I'm a fan of, you know, mixed, uh, mixed used areas. And then just so we can kind of see maybe how this will look, let's do some some zoning just to get a better idea of how this will look. Yeah, filled in and stuff. Cool. And stay over here too, why not? Well, that's good. We've actually uh, done a good job of uh, meeting our demand here. Um, okay, so we'll just let this do its own thing in the background, but so far, so good. Very happy with that. Great to see some transies in it already, too. Um, okay, so over here... Alright, this will be fun and challenging. So what I want to do is square off uh, the edge of this. And see if we can get that working. Um, oh boy, where can we get rid of some soil? Um, let's push that back a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I think maybe we're doing this too tall. There we go. You'll kind of see what I'm up to in just a second here. Push that back. And let's just get rid of these assets that we need these. Okay, so to make things look kind of neat, um, we are going to put a seawall in place here. Let's square things off. Nice. Just a little bit like that, too. And I want that kind of relatively in line, sort of. Hmm. What can we make that work with? That comes across. Um, okay. I'm visualizing something here, and I think it's sort of doable. So my plan is to have... Oh, yeah. Let's pause that for a second. I'm gonna raise over here just so the bridge is a little bit um, a little more even. And that's really cool, the lighthouse and everything too. Oh man. Right? So just like that. Yeah, just like that. Come in like that. Okay, now this is where it's going to get a little bit crazy. So I'm going to delete what we just have. Uh, I'm going to re-terraform so things are a bit more even, kind of, or in line with that. And I'm going to bring a canal in here. So it's going to be, I don't know, I mean, it's ambitious, but I think we can do it. Let's try that again. Let's drop the height of this down a little bit. That's a bit better. Just had a little inlet thing or outlet right there. I don't know what it calls a little peninsula thingy. Um, okay, now let's try doing this. Uh, so seawall, let's put that in place. Oh, and uh, we have to let the uh, water kind of move in and around. So we'll let that just kind of hang out. And then the new seawall will be available to be built. Because the game has to um, figure out this is the new shore. So there we go. Put that in place. Good. 
go like... Actually, we'll do the end part of that in a second. Okay, this is where it's going to be tricky. And so this part, I'm just going to visualize and hopefully just get this going as straight as, um, as possible here. Okay, let's just do our best. Um, it's a little, hmm. You can kind of see it's a little crooked with that, but I think I'm going to keep it regardless, though. I don't mind that it's not 100% um, even Steven here. Okay, so that is going to go. Yeah, yeah, just... Wait, where was that? Come back. Give me that shoreline line back. You can't see when the water... It's really it's dependent on the water height, right? Hmm... We might not be able to get that back. If we don't get this, that's totally no problem. So that can go like that. And I don't need to do that, and it won't let us do it anymore, so let's just leave it. And I don't really think we need all of that either. I want to delete just a little bit perfect. Excellent. Okay, now the goal of me doing this um, you'll kind of see what I'm about to do. We're going to terraform uh, away the edges, and it's just going to end up looking like a lot cleaner. Okay, so let's do that. Terraform that away. Make sure we don't, um, don't make holes in this part. That already looks much better, doesn't it? And it's okay if the water just kind of flows around a little bit here. We're just still trying to get everything sorted. Alright. Doesn't have to be perfect either. And we're going to put some rocks and like trees and you know stuff in too, right? Just to kind of hide the subtle imperfections. We'll just close that off, just say like that. Oh, maybe a little bit further even. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And so yeah, this is going to be a little bit off, but... I don't think that's the end of the world. And then, you know what we could even do is um, we'll put that in line with this, since we already have, you know, this kind of lined up, right? And so I want that just for the zoning squares. This now for reference. There we go. And then this can go in, hopefully at a curve, just like slightly like that, so you don't really notice that it's kind of off, and then connect say about there hmm Let's see if we can get this just to uh, to work otherwise this might be a little hmm a little bit of guesswork mm hmm First part, yes, that part, no. Mmm, let's no cigar. I think that's enough to get these to line up. Yep. All right, actually, that's, that's really nice. And I love the way this kind of opens and everything, and excellent, very happy. Okay, so our water pumps are now going to hang out over on this little part of the world. So put four of those right here. Maybe a fifth, even. And I'm just going to delete the other ones, just for pure simplicity's sake. And oh, I guess that's enough for those. Oh my goodness, look how much water those things uh, take in. That's hilarious. 
Um, okay, so let's get rid of these. Oh, and look at this, our demand, everything is rising, our population is going, oh, guys, this is great, and look at how this is all filled in. A few people complain about the noise, and I can't say that I blame them. Oops, just took that out by accident. Why do we give you guys just a few office towers? So a few lucky people can uh, work right there. And we're going to have to put in some tram lines and, you know, parking lots and parks and stuff. But I think we're going to do some beautification kind of continuing on into the um, the next episode. And is this connected to nobody? This entire time. Well, how about that? I totally, totally, totally forgot about this one. <clears throat> Shame on me. Hmm... Why can't that... there we go. That's what I want. Alright, so that'll hopefully fix those problems right there. Um, okay, so back to this little spot. You know what would be really, really cool is if we also got like a cargo train station over here and just a few other just neat little assets just to kind of make this area feel like it's doing something. We can build like a train yard or something over here too. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get too much use out of it. And then, you know what, these can... We'll figure out that, that connection afterwards. I'm just going to just put a few more things down here. Continue that. Cool. I'm such a fan of having level crossings, and there's just... Nobody ever does them. And I think they just look so nice in this game, too. As long as this area isn't too busy, we should be able to do something like this without having to worry about the, um, the traffic headache. But we're one off. There we go. That should be kind of cool when it's all said and done. And then what I want to do over here, uh, just for the moment, I'm going to clean out some of these trees. And I'm actually going to put some solar power plants in. Because eventually we're going to uh, put a lot of power producers over here. Sorry, no, this is very noisy. Um, and, you know, it'll be kind of neat to get just some mixed use out of it. Oh gosh, I wish we had the tree brush tool. That's probably good though. Okay, so just a couple of these. I'm just going to use these to spread the power, just for the moment. There we go. And then just so nothing happens to our newly constructed world over here, let's just... Um, Put in a couple services. And that's kind of cool, though. Now this, I might be pushing my luck, but this could be really cool. Yup. Love it. Awesome. Alright, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave us there. Um, we still need to do a little bit more work, so we'll just continue our next episode with just a little bit more of this, basically. And I think we're going to do some, uh, a little bit more uh, terraforming and maybe kind of change the shape a little bit. I'm tempted to maybe make that a little bit bigger or something down here. I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts. But uh, it's, I mean, pretty cool. I think I like this. And then eventually we're going to have our harbor um, kind of connected, connected over here. We're going to shift this industrial pocket kind of over this, you know, this way. And then this we can, um, you know, reclaim. We can put offices and make, a, make I don't know, like a big mall or something. Put some landmarks in. Because I don't really like, ooh, we'll speak in a harbor. Look at that. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. 
one step closer to our nuclear power plant too, which will be going over there. And those people are sick, I imagine it's a little bit too noisy, but I'll deal with that in the next episode. All right, guys, all the best. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'm really happy the way things are turning out. We've got a nice big old city here. This is pretty cool. And I'm really, I love this area. This is so nice. Had to do a little bit more parks and kind of filling in, but great to see all these trains and everything. And we can always put in one or two of our own routes. I'm kind of hesitant to maybe do that, though, just because of how many trains there already are. But just maybe one to, that goes around the whole city, just to get some color options in the, in the trains. All right, guys, all the best. See you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.